everyone, you are on the Curative CGI channel. In this video, we'll talk about building frame compositions and how to make a storyboard correctly. This is my current stage of cartoon development. I recently finished writing the script for the first episode of the animated series. Well, before we start, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and like this video, and now let's start. Building a composition is necessary not only for shooting videos and beautiful photos, but also for 3D graphics. The first composition is symmetry. The best place to clearly see symmetry in the frame is in the film The Grand Budapest Hotel. As you can see in the frame, if you draw a line in the middle, the two sides are symmetrical, and the frame looks beautiful. Imagine if one of the sides had enough parts and they were different. You will agree that the frame will not look very good. If the frame consists of symmetry, the main character is mainly placed in the middle. This is done in order not to disrupt the symmetry. But if there is more than one character, they are diluted equally on both sides. The next shot is the rule of thirds. If you are just a beginner and don't want to understand everything but already want to create beautiful shots, then the rule of thirds will help you. You can turn on the grid on each camera. And how to work in it? Decide what is important in the frame and this object must be placed at the intersection of lines. If this is a character, it is better to place the eyes at the upper intersections. It is comfortable when a character looks from one third to another. If, for example, you want to render the environment, then you need to take into account that a beautiful sky is more important and give the two upper squares or select a field and give the bottom two squares to him. Now, when watching films, pay attention to the location of the actors in the frame. Framing, as you can tell by the name, there is a frame in the frame. Everything can be framed, openings, corridors, windows. It's called framing. As you can see in the example picture here, there is a cyclist reflected on the side window of a car. This side glass is the frame. Next are the guidelines and rhythms. Guides are lines in the frame that invisibly show where the main object is in the frame. The lines can be different. For example, tree branches, buildings, windows, etc. With the help of these lines, you can give the mood to the frame. If the lines are horizontal, then the picture seems calm. But if the lines are vertical, then this is a mood of strength and growth. Diagonal lines are movement in the frame. Rhythms are repeating objects in the frame. For example, in the picture there are lamp posts. We see that the pillars alternate exactly at a certain distance. Another picture here, we see the rhythm of the pillars. Next composition, focus and defocus. Nothing complicated here. We will make the main object in the frame clear and blur the secondary objects. This will show the viewer where to look. The Dutch angle is a camera rotation of 15 or 45 degrees. Basically, this composition shows the character's madness or what is happening. Beautiful silhouettes so that the character looks very good in the frame and so that the animation is easy to read. Before creating a render, be sure to look at this frame and silhouette. The more beautiful and smooth the character's silhouette is, the more the picture and animation are readable and pleasing to the viewer's eye. I only talked about the main compositions, but with this knowledge, you can create very beautiful shots. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you all for watching and see you next video.